Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. Today we'll talk again about good clinical practice. Good clinical practice is a set of recognized ethical and scientific standards for conducting, recording, and reporting clinical trials. It ensures the integrity of research and safeguards the rights, safety, and well-being of trial participants. In this video, we will explain the 13 principles of GCP. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Let's delve into the 13 principles that make up the cornerstone of GCP. Principle one, ethical conduct based on the Declaration of Helsinki. E-ethics form the cornerstone of clinical trials, ensuring that all research involving human subjects adheres to the highest moral standards. These principles originate from the Declaration of Helsinki, which provides a framework for conducting medical research ethically and respectfully. Ethical conduct requires that researchers prioritize the dignity, rights, and well-being of participants, ensuring that their participation is voluntary and informed. This involves transparent communication about the nature, purpose, and risks of the trial, as well as respect for the autonomy of participants. Additionally, ethical principles demand that trials are scientifically justified and the potential benefits outweigh the risks to participants. Principle two, weighing risks against potential benefits before trial, initiation. Before a clinical trial begins, a thorough assessment of the potential risks and benefits is essential. This principle ensures that trials are initiated only when the anticipated benefits to the participants and society justify the risks involved. Researchers must evaluate foreseeable risks, such as physical harm, psychological distress, and social inconvenience, and weigh them against the potential for new medical insights or therapeutic advancements. Continuous risk-benefit assessments throughout the trial ensure that any emerging risks are promptly addressed, maintaining the safety and well-being of participants. Principle three, prioritizing the rights, safety, and well-being of trial participants. The rights, safety, and well-being of trial participants are of utmost importance and should take precedence over the interests of science and society. This principle emphasizes the protection of participants from harm and exploitation. Researchers must implement safeguards to ensure participants' safety and maintain regular monitoring and reporting mechanisms. Informed consent processes must be robust, ensuring that participants understand their rights, including the right to withdraw from the trial at any time without penalty. This participant-centered approach fosters trust and transparency in clinical research. Principle four, ensuring adequate information on the investigational product. Before conducting a trial, sufficient non-clinical and clinical data on the investigational product must be available. This principle ensures that trials are grounded in robust scientific evidence, minimizing risks to participants. Comprehensive preclinical data, including pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and toxicology studies, provide a foundational understanding of the product's safety and efficacy. This information supports the development of a scientifically sound protocol and justifies the rationale for human trials. By ensuring that adequate information is available, researchers can design trials that are more likely to yield meaningful and reliable results. Principle five, designing scientifically sound and well-documented trials. A clinical trial must be scientifically sound and meticulously documented in a detailed protocol. The protocol serves as the blueprint for the trial, outlining the objectives, design, methodology, statistical considerations, and organization of the study. A well-designed trial ensures that the research question is clearly defined and that the study design is appropriate to answer it. This involves selecting suitable endpoints, control groups, and methodologies for data collection and analysis. Adhering to a detailed protocol minimizes bias and enhances the reliability and validity of the trial results. Principle six, strict compliance with approved study protocols. Adherence to the study protocol is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the trial. The protocol must receive prior approval from an institutional review board or independent ethics committee to ensure that the trial is conducted ethically and scientifically. Researchers are responsible for ensuring that all trial activities align with the approved protocol, including participant recruitment, data collection, and analysis. 
Deviations from the protocol should be minimized and documented, with appropriate corrective actions taken to address any discrepancies. Compliance ensures that the trial results are credible and can withstand regulatory scrutiny. Principle 7. Responsibility for medical care and decisions. The medical care provided to trial participants and any decisions made on their behalf should be the responsibility of a qualified physician or dentist. This principle ensures that participants receive expert medical care throughout the trial, safeguarding their health and well-being. Qualified medical professionals are equipped to assess the appropriateness of a participant's involvement in the trial, monitor their health during the study, and make informed decisions in response to any adverse events. Their expertise is essential for interpreting clinical findings and ensuring that participants receive the best possible care. Principle 8. Qualifications and Training of Trial Staff Every individual involved in conducting a trial must be qualified by education, training, and experience to perform their respective tasks. This principle underscores the importance of having a competent and knowledgeable research team to ensure the trial's success. Staff members should receive appropriate training in GCP principles, trial-specific procedures, and ethical considerations. Ongoing professional development and performance evaluations help maintain high standards of conduct and ensure that the trial is conducted efficiently and safely. The expertise of the trial staff is crucial for ensuring the accuracy and reliability of the data collected. If you need a training, you can start with our free Introduction to Clinical Research Investigators' Responsibilities online training. You will find the link under this video. Principle 9. Obtaining freely given informed consent. Informed consent is a fundamental ethical requirement for clinical trials, ensuring that participants voluntarily agree to participate based on a comprehensive understanding of the trial. Researchers must provide clear and concise information about the trial's purpose, procedures, risks, benefits, and alternatives. Participants should have the opportunity to ask questions and discuss their concerns before providing consent. This process ensures that participants are fully aware of what participation entails and can make an informed decision. Informed consent is an ongoing process, requiring regular communication with participants to update them on any new information that may affect their participation. Principle 10, accurate recording and management of clinical trial data. Accurate recording, handling, and storage of clinical trial data are essential for ensuring the integrity and reliability of the trial results. Data management practices must adhere to high standards of accuracy, transparency, and reproducibility. All trial information, from raw data to final reports, should be meticulously documented and maintained in a secure manner. This includes implementing data management systems that facilitate accurate reporting, interpretation, and verification of trial results. Proper data management practices ensure that the trial's findings are credible and can contribute to scientific knowledge and regulatory decision-making. Principle 11, ensuring confidentiality of participant records. Protecting the confidentiality of participant records is crucial for maintaining trust and ethical standards in clinical research. Researchers must implement measures to safeguard participants' privacy, ensuring that personal information is securely stored and accessed only by authorized personnel. Data should be anonymized or de-identified whenever possible to minimize the risk of unauthorized disclosure. Compliance with applicable privacy and confidentiality regulations, such as GDPR or HIPAA, is essential for protecting participants' rights and maintaining the integrity of the trial. Principle 12, adherence to good manufacturing practice for investigational products. Investigational products must be manufactured, handled, and stored in accordance with good manufacturing practice to ensure their quality and safety. GMP standards provide guidelines for the production and quality control of investigational products, ensuring that they are consistently produced and meet specified quality criteria. Adherence to GMP minimizes the risk of product contamination, degradation, or variability which could impact participant safety or trial outcomes. Investigational products should be used according to the approved protocol, ensuring that participants receive the correct dosages and formulations throughout the trial. Principle 13, implementing quality assurance systems for trials. Implementing quality assurance systems and procedures is essential for ensuring the integrity and reliability of clinical trials. 
Quality assurance involves establishing processes that monitor and verify compliance with GCP standards at every stage of the trial. This includes regular audits and inspections to identify and address potential issues or deviations from the protocol. By implementing robust quality assurance measures, researchers can ensure that the trial is conducted ethically and scientifically, and that the data collected are credible and reliable. The 13 principles of good clinical practice provide a comprehensive framework for conducting clinical trials that are ethical, scientifically sound, and participant-focused. By adhering to these principles, researchers can protect the rights and welfare of participants, ensure the credibility of trial data, and contribute to the advancement of medical knowledge and patient care. Understanding and implementing these principles is essential for anyone involved in the design, conduct, or oversight of clinical trials. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.